Hi guys, it's Danny from Art by Marlene's promo team for 2019. Today we're going to make some ATC coins and a holder. I'm using Art by Marlene's tags on the jelly plate. Just going to place some paint down and using her Art by Marlene foamies, I'm going to press that into the paint to create some interest and make it our first pull on the tag. I've also cut some two and a half inch rounds with some food packaging from a punch and we're going to make these as the base for some coins. So just placing some more paint on the jelly plate and loading up these coins with some background paint. And I'm also using some mini envelopes here, which will be the insides of the holder. We'll have to print on both sides of the envelopes so that they're completely covered. Just placing some more paint down now and we'll use some more art foamies to directly stamp on the coins and the envelopes. This is a really fun technique to stamp some interest on some plain backgrounds. Surprisingly, the art foamies give you a really beautiful, crisp stamp and they're quite fun to use. So he's going to pull the extra paint off the jelly plate. Now the tag's a little bit bland, so we're going to use a bit more art foamies loaded up with the brayer and some paint and we'll stamp directly onto the tag. And then I'll quickly show you some that I've done previously. So a few more tags. We'll pop this aside to dry and I'll just grab one of those tags. We're going to score this at nine centimeters and 18. This will become the cover of the ATC holder. So just scoring them again at nine centimeters and 18 centimeters. And then we'll fold on those score lines to create the cover. These are the envelopes. We're going to seal them all shut and then we'll take a two and a half centimeters off one end. And these will become the pocket holders for the coins. Using another punch here, I've made a quick template and I'm just marking those out so that I can punch little thumb holes all in the same sort of general area. That way they'll all line up. I'm using double sided tape down the centre of each envelope and we layer upon each other, taping them all down. It's important just to put the tape down the middle of the envelope so you can get a consultina. Don't these envelopes look really bright and cheerful now? I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Perfect consultina. So now we're going to move on to some background stamping. So I'm using the black tag again, I've chosen one of the Art by Marlene background stamps. And we're going to stamp in some white ink onto the black cardstock. This is just creating a little bit more interest on the inside of the tag holder or the cover, should I say. So I'm just going to quickly grab another tag and we're going to glue these little pocket envelopes down, just eyeballing it on the inside of the tag. Going to choose a couple of die cuts out of Marlene's die cut books. And these are a quick way to decorate the 
outside and inside covers of the holder and I'll fussy cut all the white border off. So again moving back to background stamping I've decided to just do a little bit more background stamping on the actual outside of the cover just to create a little bit more interest before we pop those dies down. Now we're going to glue those die pieces down. So I've, as I said, cut all the white border off, off camera. We're just gluing those down into position. Firstly on the front cover, on the back cover, and then on the insides. So these die cuts are just a really easy way to finish a project nice and quickly. They're such quirky characters and so bright and cheerful. They're hard not to use. Now we're just going to move on to a couple of coin bases. So those are the ones that we've printed earlier. We're going to stamp some background stamps on one of them, just to create a little bit more interest. And I've also picked up a couple of the die cuts and fussy cut those. And these are going to be our focal points on the die on the coins. We just glue those down. And now just to add a touch of doodling or drawing around the edges, creating a few little borders and just finishing off the little die cuts so that they pop off the background. Give you a little bit more of a focal point to look at. Just using some permanent markers from my stash. I love hand drawing these little borders around the coins. I think they just add to a little bit of quirkiness of the coins. And they're so easy to hand draw a little checkerboard border around the coins. I think it just sort of finishes them off. Now I'm just using the Art by Marlene sticker book. I've just cut out a few little phrases, cutting them down to fit the coins. We're just going to add them on.
I'm just finishing off that border. So you can see how quick and easy these coins are to make using Art by Marlene's dies. And there's a few more coins that I've made previously to fit the holder. We're just going to pop each coin into one of those envelope pockets. So this is a really cute idea just so you can trade your coins with others. And I'm just finishing off the project now with a little bit of sari, reclaimed sari material from my stash. And this will just um, tie it around just so that we've got a, a bit of a closure on the actual holder. How cute's that? And here's another one I've made earlier, just using the same principles, but with just different dies, little different images from the die set. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment if you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching.